Okay, in this particular video, I would like to address a subject. It's the subject of sleep paralysis. Now, the reason why I'm making a video, because I rarely make a video about anything, but I'll make a video on something that I know about. And a couple of my friends, at least three of them, have made posts about it. They either have it, or they know somebody who has experienced it. Now, but let's first talk about what is sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is when you wake up, but you can't move your limbs. That means your legs, your arms, your body, and sometimes you can't breathe, or you barely can breathe. And you have to fight your way out of it because human emotion, that's the first instinct, is to fight out of a bad situation that you don't understand. Now... What I'll tell you about sleep paralysis, we're going to get into this. Okay, some people have it, some people don't. When I experienced sleep paralysis for the first time, my instinct was to fight out of it. I was like, I think I'm dying. I think I'm paralyzed. I can't move. I'm scared. I can't breathe. And I fought out of it. And it took me about 15 seconds but it was scary. And let me tell you something, my reality was distorted when I first woke up. And that's what you do when you first wake up because your mind has to catch up with your body or in some cases, your body has to catch up with your mind and you just have to wake up. And that's the whole goal of it. But how you get rid of it is you get sleep. I noticed when you get adequate sleep, you can get out of those sleep paralysis dreams. But now let's get a little bit deeper. From what we watch on TV, the movies, the TV shows, all that stuff. You know about Freddy Krueger. You know about um, Jason Voorhees. You know about Spider-Man and all those different people. But sometimes you could dream about them. And sometimes your mind can play tricks on you when you're asleep. It definitely can. Because you're at your most, one of your most vulnerable states is when you're asleep. Your mind can play all types of tricks on you. So what I noticed is when I would go to sleep and have a sleep paralysis dream where, okay, I will wake up, but it would be something attacking me. The person was made of I don't know if you if you have ever seen somebody just made of electricity or static or he was very scary, tall, he had claws, he was he looked like a monster. And he stabbed me in my dream and I felt his stabs, his pokes. Now you wonder why they came up with the idea to make the movie Freddy Krueger because they got it from their dreams. They they can't just came up with the idea. But now what I want to get into is some people I found out they are attacked in their dreams by entities. We don't know if these entities are real. We don't know if they are from our imagination. See what I'm saying? But the whole goal of this video is to tell you how to get rid of them and that is show Whatever it is attacking you, whether it be the sleep paralysis or whether it be the monsters, don't show them no fear. Because, okay, you can wake up into a dream where you're paralyzed. Okay? That, that's sleep paralysis. That will scare you. You could see a monster attacking you. He's clawing you out. He's cutting into you. Don't show that entity or that whatever it is, that person, that monster. Don't show them no fear. You fight them. Even if they're cutting your guts out, you say, I'm going to get you. I'm going to beat you up. Oh, you don't scare me. I'm not afraid of you. And see, I'm going to tell you something. It could be a spirit. It could be a demon. And it could be your own mind attacking you. Because sometimes that's what happens. Your own imagination attacks you. And once you don't show that person or that monster that's attacking you in your 
sleep paralysis dream, no fear. They will leave you alone because that's what happened to me. Now, let me go into an experience what I had. Okay, I was getting up for work one day. I had to be up by about 7 o'clock a.m. I woke up at about 5 o'clock a.m. Trying to get ready. And I had a dream that I woke up in my sleep. And a entity, or I don't know what he was, he was some monster with claws, and he was trying to kill me. And my instinct was, I'm going to get you. I'm going to beat you up. No, you're not going to do this again. And by me not showing the entity no fear, he just disappeared and ran off. And this happened about one, two, three, four, five times. And I never had that problem again. So I'm teaching you how to get rid of sleep paralysis. You show that situation that you're in. That situation meaning you're paralyzed. You're woke. But your limbs won't move. Show no fear. Get out of it. Whatever entity is attacking you. Insult it. Call it names. Say, I'm not afraid of you. And I'm going to do something to you. And it will run away because its only goal is to extract fear from you. And that's what gives it power. You never give the nightmare power. See what I'm saying? And after that, I never had any of those dreams again. I wake up. You know, I sleep good. And I feel good. So I just wanted to share my... Um, experience on sleep paralysis you have to learn because some people they go through it worse than other people you have some people that go through a real freddy krueger nighttime bedtime dream time experience where they wake up and they're, they're like i didn't have any any good sleep because i had nightmares all night and that plagues them and their psychologist or whoever they're talking to they can't give them any answers because not everybody has it but I had to talk on what I know. Don't give the dream, the situation, the entity, the monster, any satisfaction of you having fear. Even if I don't care what they're doing to you. Because I woke up one time where I was being attacked by a static being. And he was sticking me. And he was electrocuting me in my sleep. And I couldn't move. And you know what? Even while I was being sticked, I told him, I said, I'm going to get you. And I'm going to tear you apart. I'm going to rip you apart. I even told I didn't, I didn't even know if he had family members, but I told him I'll rip your family I'll rip your family members apart. Did you know that thing ran away? I was never visited by whatever it is that in my imagination, or if it was a demonic spirit, or if it was something in some entity or something attacking me from far away. So that's what sleep paralysis is: get sleep. And do not fear your situation or whatever is in front of you. Confront it. That's sleep paralysis. Alright. Now I'm going to end this video and I'm going to post it. Alright. Thank you for listening. I hope you made it to the end and you, um, you understood and you got the gist of what I was saying. Alright. Good night.